Welcome to the annual Art School Live Christmas Spectacular. Let's play some music. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. I have my best uh, Christmas outfit, my Santa Claus outfit, and I also have my uh, Santa Claus jacket. I think I'll put it on now. <clears throat> All right. Got to have lots of Christmas clothing. All right. Here we go. Where's the music? Okay. Welcome to the Christmas Spectacular, and this is Art School Live, but uh, we have a guest today who is probably going to be completely embarrassed to be seen with me on this event. But I want to tell you guys, before we introduce our guest, we have probably about four or five thousand dollars worth of prizes today everybody's going to get a chance to win and i'm going to make it fair so even people watching on the replays are going to have a chance to win so let's go through the prizes first Amadine, pull up that first slide first thing we're going to give away a ticket a full ride ticket to the plein air convention in colorado in may that's a huge prize that's worth well over a thousand dollars Next, we're going to give away a ticket to Watercolor Live, and we're going to give away a ticket to Plen Air Live. Next, oh, wait a minute. We're missing a couple. We'll have to go back to that slide, Amadine. Okay, so we'll also add a ticket to Pastel Live and a ticket to Realism Live. So even though I don't show it there, just know they're going to be there. All right, next... You're going to have a chance to win. We're going to give away 10 of each subscriptions, 10 subscriptions to Plein Air Magazine, 10 subscriptions to Fine Art Connoisseur Magazine. Next, we're going to give away uh, 15 full-length art instruction videos from PaintTube TV. So, we're give wait, 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 go back. We're going to give away uh, uh, some of our best sellers. So we've got, um, I, I'm not going to go through the names. You can see them there. But we've got watercolor videos. We have oil videos. We have uh, some of the top artists in the world. And these are full-length, professionally produced, high quality. Okay, so let's go to the next five. So the next five, we've got uh, some incredible pieces, a lot of different ones. Uh, Cindy Barron, uh, Lon Brower, Doug Fryer, Mark Shasta, uh, Jim Woodark. Next, we have more videos. Uh, Tom Kitts in Soroya, uh, Bill Davidson Landscapes, Vera Kavira in Ukraine on how to paint flowers of Ukraine, uh, Mike Hernandez from DreamWorks, and we even have Andy Evenson. So, all right, is that all the prizes we have? <laughs> okay, thank you. We've got a lot of prizes today. Hang in there. I'm going to tell you how to win them, but first, we're going to get to our guest, Alex Hilkertz. Alex is in Paris. Alex, I see you're wearing your Christmas shirt. Yeah, I, I had to dress up today. It's the Christmas yeah. Spectacular. <laughs> yeah. So uh, because it's our Christmas Spectacular, we have to do something that's got a little bit of a Christmas feel. So what are you going to paint for us today? Well, if you know my work at all, you know that I love these Paris cafes. Uh, well, but let me I show a little I... of your work real quickly. Let me show a little work and then... Hang on a second. I got to find it. Uh, okay. So you do watercolor and wow. Yeah, these I'm are a watercolor artist. I've, I grew up in California, but I've been living in Paris for a number of years. Uh, and I'm, I'm in love with the, the light of this city and the way the light kind of defines the form of these buildings. Um, but I found a reference for a cafe that has uh, kind of a candy cane stripe awning, red and white stripe awning. Perfect. So I thought that was pretty fitting. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I thought I'd spruce it up a little bit with maybe some garlands of, of uh, pine bows or something. So so we'll dress it up and make it Christmassy. So this is going to be a great day because not only are we getting a, a world-class artist, uh, we're going to get a Christmas painting, we're going to get a watercolor painting, we're going to get a couple, a few, few thousand dollars worth of prizes, and we're going to have a lot of fun today. So let's get the show started officially. It's Art School Live with Eric Rose. Now, here's your host, Eric Rose.
Well, welcome to the Christmas Spectacular. I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher of Fine Art Connoisseur, Plant Air Magazine, and a bunch of other stuff you don't need to know about right now. But Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. This is Hanukkah as well. And I want to just tell all of my friends that, you know, you guys, I love you. You have been here uh, from day one. We started this program, get this, almost three years ago. What happened, in case you're new to this, uh, when the COVID pandemic hit, and we were all locked down. I thought, what can I do to help everybody's, lift everybody's spirits? Now, none of us thought we were going to be locked down for more than a week or two, right? So I started this program, Art School Live, and I started out doing just, you know, a little bit of art marketing advice, and then I started inviting artists. And, well, you know, I, I was going to end it uh, after two weeks, and then, uh, well, things kept going. So we went seven months in a row doing seven days a week, which was exhausting, but it was a lot of fun. And then after seven months, we went every single weekday from that point forward, and we're still here. And we have a, a group of people who are watching uh, that are called the Dreamline Artists. And so applause for the Dreamline Artists. If you guys are in the comments, say hello. If you're a member of the Dreamline Artists, you've got to get into the comments and say hello. Now, here's what, what happened is uh, Nancy, uh, <laughs> Nancy Etherton West, my brain fried for a second. Nancy Etherton West started uh, realizing that everybody had gotten used to chatting in the chat on this program every day during uh, the first couple of weeks of pandemic. And when I said I was going to end it, she thought, well, we have to keep this going. It's kind of nice to have people chatting and getting to know one another. And so she kept it going by creating a book group called Dreamline Artists. And so what we did, uh, or what she did, is she got them going. Well, they're now about I don't know, 2,800, 3,000, 3,500 members of Dreamline Artists. A lot of them are here every day. A lot of them are not. But if you're on today or even if you're watching in replay later, make sure you say a comment. And anybody who's watching is welcome to join that group. There's no charge. I have nothing to do with it. But it's kind of nice because you get to know other artists. And they have developed book clubs and discussion groups. And they really have a lot of fun. So Cheers and thank you and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah to the Dreamline artists. Now, uh, here's what's going to happen today. We're going to give away a bunch of prizes. And if you missed them in the beginning, uh, I'll just go through them real quickly one more time. Uh, Amadine, if you can help me out. First off, we're going to give away a full ride ticket to the Plen Air Convention in Colorado. That's a huge gift. Next, we're going to give away... Uh, tickets to uh, Watercolor Live, which is coming up in January, Plen Air Live, which is coming up in March, and uh, we're also going to give away Realism Live, and we're going to give away Pastel Live. These are our four virtual conferences. We get thousands of people to these, and uh, we have a worldwide audience, and we already are busting the doors off for the next one in January, Watercolor Live, because of the great guests that we have. We also are going to be giving away uh, 10 each digital subscriptions to Plein Air Magazine and Fine Art Connoisseur Magazine. And the digital subscriptions, by the way, have 30% more content than the print. Now, uh, if, if we give you one and you already have it, we suggest you give it as a Christmas gift to somebody else. We were, we're fine with that. Okay, next we have, uh, we're going to give away 15 art instruction videos at PaintTube TV. We do full length art instruction videos. Some of them are eight or 10 hours. They're really in-depth. They're professionally produced. Uh, you know, we use Hollywood level producers and, and cameras and, and these things rock. And so we have a lot of different ones we're going to give away. We have over 600 of them that we've made. So today we're going to give away 15 of them. So the, the idea here is I wanted to have a lot of prizes. So let's see if we have uh, 20 magazines. We have 15 videos. We have the big prizes of the four conferences and the big conference. So that's a lot of videos. And, and I mean, that's a lot of prizes. And so we're excited about this. And so hang with us. I'm going to tell you in a few minutes how we're going to give them away. But first, we're going to get back to Alex Hilkertz. Alex is in Paris, in case you missed the opening. He's going to do a watercolor of a cafe in Paris, and he's going to give it a little bit of Christmas Flair. So Alex, take it away. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So 
this is uh this is a cafe on the on the right bank of Paris. Um and I just I'm going to start laying in some sort of bright sunlight colors. The sun is coming from the upper right on this image. Can you um, tell us by the way uh what kind of paper you're using cuz everybody will ask. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using Arches paper today. This is um, cold press, 300 gram. Um, now, what's the difference in terms of using cold press versus hot press or rough? Uh, cold press, um, it's basically how the paper is produced. Um, generally speaking, hot pressed is is smoother paper. Um. It's just a kind of a secondary pressing of the paper. So it gets out a lot of the, the tooth, a lot of the texture. I happen to really love um, kind of this, this, uh, this rough texture of paper. So I like, um, I like cold press paper. Okay. And I understand with cold press that if you make a mistake, you can kind of get it out a little bit. Is that right? Yeah, there's a little bit of... Um, there's a little bit of uh, of trickery that you can do to uh, to kind of fix any <laughs> any mistakes you may make. Um, yeah, that's always the the trick with watercolor painting is that um, you know it does seem does seem to be a little unforgiving. You have to you have to kind of go in with a game plan. I, uh, I got to tell you that uh, watercolor is really impacting me a lot. I have been a plein air painter and a studio painter in oil for, well, I've been doing it for probably 20, 25 years. And um, I, you know, I drag my oil paints everywhere. I drove them, I dragged them over to Russia one time and I forgot my mineral spirits. and I couldn't find any. So I ended up painting uh, with nothing and um, it worked out, but. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm just getting to that point where I just want to take my watercolors everywhere, but I was not um, satisfied with what I could do with watercolor. So mm. once I started attending watercolor live, that made a big difference in my ability. Yeah, it's um, I mean, it can be a tricky medium. You uh, you know, there there is sort of a lot of um, kind of technical stuff that you that you should kind of be aware of a little bit. Um, but it's incredibly expressive as well. So I'm, I'm adding in this red here. This is not the, the, this is not the famous red awning that, that will come later, but I'm, this is kind of an undercoat for, for this deep shadow that's going to be here. Um, maybe I'll bring that down into the street a little bit, just to kind of have a bit of a reflective reflection going on. Nice. What I love about watercolor is you can you can blend these colors on the page when things are when things are wet uh, when the paper's wet like it is up here in the sky uh, I can come in with I'm just mixing up a, another color I can come in with some other colors and it it sort of blends in in a really interesting way. Now, did you pre-wet your paper or or that section? I I pre-wet just up here, so it okay. kind of these colors kind of mingle together. Um, the rest of it was dry. Oh, I got to add some green in here. I've got. Oh yeah, we got to have some Christmas green. I got to Christmas this up a little bit. So, what's Christmas in Paris like? You know, it's gorgeous. Uh, there's lights strung across all the streets. Um, there's Christmas markets in a lot of the neighborhoods, uh, you know, selling chocolate and scarves. And um, it's just, a, I mean, it's a really great time of year. So it's pretty, pretty fun. There are a couple sort of green awnings in the background here. I'm going to. I'll add those in in a second. I just, I want to get this kind of this wash of color 
that uh, that sort of blends together with everything. And then when I come in with some deeper shadows, that'll that'll kind of define that. I want to remind everybody, if you just tuned in, our guest today is Alex Hilkert in Paris. And uh, we're doing a Christmas scene in watercolor, a Christmas cafe. But I also want to tell you that we have lots and lots and lots of prizes we're going to give away today, even on the replays. So those people who normally can't watch live, we're going to give gifts to you today, too. So you're going to learn all about that. Just hang in there, and we'll tell you about how to do it. And it's not the way we normally give away prizes so hang in there <laughs> stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned hey everybody i'm gonna just start adding in i think some deep shadows um this is always what i love is these these shadows that really kind of show off these these buildings well it really makes the light pop doesn't it yeah, you really, I, you know, I always say that it's if you want the if you want your painting to look brighter, you've got to make your shadows nice and dark. So uh, that looks like a a great brush. What is it? This is a Raphael Soft Aqua. Uh huh. Uh, it's a synthetic. Um synthetic brush but it's it's really nice these are good quality brushes and you do you go over to the sennelier store and get them i do <laughs> <laughs> yeah that place is dangerous to me because oh yeah. it's so wonderful yeah <laughs> i can't i can't go in there without uh you know without spending quite a bit of money but yeah. um there's so much history in that store and it's such a treasure trove that uh it's pretty incredible yeah, there's this, there's something about going into a place that's been there for 150 years that you know that the great artists before you went in there and, and had them make up their colors. Yeah, I think about that every time I walk through those doors. Like, who else has has walked through here, you know? What, uh... Well, and one day people will look back and say, Alex was in here. <laughs> So this is uh, this is something I wanted to show off today. This is I'm I'm kind of laying down these dark. You, you know, do you like have any way to zoom that in a little bit more? Absolutely. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm laying in these dark uh, shadows, and what I want to do is just give myself a little bit of variety in these shadows. And I'm gonna while this area is still wet. Uh, I want to come in with a warmer color. This is uh, a quinacridone sienna and just sort of touch that in here like this. And this is this kind of magic ingredient that as the light bounces around, hitting this surface and, and reflecting up into these shadows, it really adds all this interesting all these interesting contrasts and colors and uh, it's just so much fun. You're really good at this. And I can do this up here as well. There's, there's, this is a, this is kind of a larger um, balcony uh -huh. and then there's sort of a smaller one up here. Like, but uh, I can, I can get some of that light happening up there as well. So I'm using two different brushes. I have, I have one brush loaded with cool, a cool color and a second one loaded with a warm color. So I don't have to constantly rinse out my brush. I can paint uh, kind of these dark shadows, dark cool shadows with one brush. And then with the, with the second brush, just come in and hit some of those, those kind of orange tones. Alex? Yes. I have to interrupt this program. <laughs> I'm you sorry, do just don't do anything do. else. Don't touch your painting. I'm coming back. Okay. Okay. Why don't, uh, do you have a way you can come on camera? 
We have something to celebrate. All right. I, I want everybody watching in the comments to know that this is a monumental day, and I want everybody to get ready to type in a comment, okay? This is not about winning a prize. Uh, I don't know if Alex is coming back on screen or not. Are you going to oh, be able I can... to? Oh, you have to reset up your camera. Okay. No, it's okay. I can okay. do that. All right. You, I need you to share this moment with me uh, because this is such a huge moment. Not only is it the Christmas Spectacular, but it's a huge moment in history, at least my history or our history together. So, Alex, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, let's see. Maybe we have some sound effects. I don't know what sound effects we've got. I don't have them labeled. Let's see if we've got any. Oh, okay. Oh, we got some Christmas music. Okay, here's the deal. I set a goal in 2022, January 2022. I said that I wanted to get my YouTube audience to 100,000 subscribers. And today, on the Christmas Spectacular, it just ticked over to 100,000. All right. <laughs> Bravo. That's a huge All right. Milestone. So everybody has to type in 100,000. Yay. <laughs> okay. So this is a, a monumental moment. And, and one of the things I want to stress about this is it is so important to set goals. You guys, if you want to hit something, if you set the goal and then you focus on it every day, I wasn't really sure I was going to make it, but man, we did it today. We did it together. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is wonderful. All right, Alex, you got to be here to share the moment and thank you. Uh, now YouTube has to send me a plaque and that's pretty cool. So we'll have a plaque. <laughs> if we ever get it, we'll have a plaque ceremony. Alex, let's get back to your painting because it's All so right. fabulous. While he's doing that, I want to just remind everybody that we have lots of prizes today. We have about triple the audience today that we normally have when we're live. So thank you for tuning in today. And we have thousands of dollars worth of prizes today. And we're going to give them away in a very special way. And I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, but it is not the way we normally do it. But I still want you to give comments uh, because we want to get you, uh, we will pick a prize from the comments today as well. And uh, Amadine and I will have to come up with something and invent something real quickly that we're going to give away for your comments. But if you put a comment in 100,000, 100, hooray, that's really terrific. And uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do real quickly, because I think this is a really wonderful moment to do this. Uh, we have an event coming up, and I just want you guys to know a little bit about it because it's coming up in January and you need to be there. Well, that's interesting. The promo stopped. Anyway, we're, uh, we're our, our event coming up is called Watercolor Live, and it is spectacular. What I've been telling people, what I told people on the webinar is, you know, we all kind of don't get serious about learning and growing as much as we should. And, you know, next thing you know, 10 years has passed. We've gone to a, this or that, and, and, you know, we do a little bit of stuff. But uh, if you can only retain 10%, just retain 10%, and you watch in our what we call our immersion learning platform. See, immersion learning is like a fire hose into a teacup. You think you can't possibly take it all in, but it's planting into your subconscious. And what happens is that you have an opportunity then to uh, really become uh, much better, much better faster. And you still have to practice, of course. But when you get all of that, if you retain uh, three full days and four, if you go to beginner's day, 
and 30 top watercolor artists and you retain that 10% of that, you're going to be light years ahead of where you would be after 10 years of just messing around. So it is life changing. You will transform yourself. And I guarantee it. I guarantee it so much that I, you know, if you watch even the first day and you don't feel like you've been transformed just by the first day, I will give you your money back because I don't want to give you uh, I don't want to take your money if I'm not giving you something that really delivers. So Watercolor Live is a really cool thing, and I hope you'll you'll consider it. Alex uh, is going to be on the faculty. I don't know what he's going to teach. We'll ask him here. Alex, what are you going to be teaching uh, on Watercolor Live? Um, well, I'm doing uh, I'm doing another Paris Cafe. It's um, it's one that I hadn't painted before. Um, but uh, but I, I kind of love the angle that um, it sort of juts out into the street in an interesting way. And uh, well, and you'll be is... and you'll be able to develop it a lot more because you'll have a lot more time than you'll have on this show today. So that that's good. yeah, I really get into, you know, specifics about the colors I'll be using and, and um, different techniques of how to how I would approach this particular scene. So, yeah. I really love the the reflected light underneath that pink awning, how it's really kind of, it just now, now that it's dried, it's, it's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. That's, um, that's kind of this fun, fun little trick that I, that I love to do. Uh, I think I need to, um, I need to get into this awning. I need to, I need to make this a special Christmas image, don't I? That's right. <laughs> um, so the awning is here. It wraps around the building. Um, and it does, here, I'll just get a bright, bright red. It's got this great kind of vibrant color here and here I can't believe we hit that 100,000 mark today. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. This, this was not great. planned, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, you got to you got to celebrate these moments. That's right. I'm thinking I'm thinking champagne before lunch. Uh, hey, you know, <laughs> you're talking to a guy in Paris. That's uh, that's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think I need to fly over to Paris and have a glass of champagne with you and your wife. I think you I'm are right. welcome anytime. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe a little trip to the Sennelier store. Exactly. I could spend hours. <laughs> I have I have spent hours. Yeah. So you, do you go out on the streets and paint in plein air or do you mostly work from photo reference? I do both. I love plein air painting. Um, there's, there's really nothing like it to get kind of the feel and the environment of where you are. Um, now that it's colder and kind of today is pretty rainy here in Paris, um, it's sort of best to do refer yeah. photo reference. Yeah, well, r rain and watercolor don't really go well together. You know, I have done my share of plein air painting with watercolor in the rain, and have you? sometimes it's an absolute disaster, and sometimes you find these kind of interesting new techniques. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story. I was in uh, Maastricht for the uh, Maastricht Art Show in Holland, and I took my paints along. I was only around for three days, and I had, you know, I said, I have to paint. Well, I... I only had certain windows because I had other obligations, meetings and things. And so it was this stormy day in Maastricht and I went out to the square and it's raining about as hard as I've ever experienced. You know, wind is blowing and I set up my easel and I painted in oil and everybody thought I was crazy, but I, I had to, cause I got that painting done. And of course, even with oil, it's dripping down my canvas and, what a great memory it was. And I, still, <laughs> I kept that painting because it just represented something so important to me. Yeah, there is, there's nothing like, you know, you, you, all those memories that you have of the experience of being there on the day, it just goes right into your page or onto your canvas. And, uh, 
you know, years later, you look at these things and, and all those memories come flooding right back. It's pretty, it's kind of a magical, uh, magical thing. So you're going over some red that you had already laid down. What's going on there? Yeah, I, I put down that red. Um, and now that it's dry, I'm coming over with this deeper shadow color. This, uh, like I said, the sun is coming from the upper right. And so it's hitting this awning and it's underneath here where the actual cafe is, um, is in deep shadow. Uh, and so I'm just, because these colors are transparent, um, you can lay a wash over this other color and it just it kind of glows in a really interesting way and it, really? it warms up that shadow um it's just a really nice way to to add a lot of variety into things outstanding hey i think what i'll do real quick is i'll tell everybody how we're going to win prizes and then i'll tell you i'll tell everybody again in case you forget so i'm going to need amadine's help on this all right. So hang on. Alex, we'll be right back. Okay. So uh, here's what we're going to do. First off, let's pull up the slide about how you win. Now, because I wanted to have a way that people could win on the replays, I didn't want to just pull it out of the comments. And because we have so many prizes, we just wanted to do it this way. So we have a website. It's called artschool.live. Uh, it's not artschoollive.com. It's artschool.live. You only need to go there one time. You just go there and enter. You don't have to pay anything. All you got to do is go there and enter. And then you will have until noon on the 22nd. That's noon tomorrow. So it's 24 hours. You will have till noon the 22nd if you're watching replay to enter that way everybody gets a chance because you know we'll have sometimes 100 150 to uh 160 000 people watching uh after on the replays and so we want to make sure that everybody gets a chance so all you got to do is just do that right now if you can if not write it down go to art school dot live and just put your name and email in there that's all we're asking we're not going to spam you we're going to send out an email on uh on friday uh and we're going to tell you who the winners are in what categories okay that's it so just go ahead and do that uh and now we'll get back to alex okay alex all right i i kept going uh okay i was just i'm just getting a darker color now and just adding in a few little details into this shadow to make it kind of pop come alive a little bit um just uh just getting some of these window details not too uh not too detailed but just enough to well, that reads beautifully with that that soft shadow over there yeah you know i think i'm gonna i'm gonna darken this this building in the background i just want to get now that that's dry i do just want to add some shadow over the whole face of that um, and this will kind of define the this front building as well it'll pop make that, make that light stand out yeah exactly yeah and we have to we have to remember that the the paint dries a little bit lighter than when it goes on so if you feel you're putting too dark of a wash on you know, you're not just take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> so I hope everybody will tell in the comments where you're watching from. So we can see our far reaching audience today. If you've never made a comment today is the day because it's a Christmas celebration and celebration of hitting hundred K on YouTube. So where are you watching from? Anywhere in the States, anywhere in Canada, Mexico, all over the world. We've had about 90 different countries watching this program. Today's the day. <laughs> if you guys win the trip, to, to, if you win the uh, plein air convention and you can't make it, uh, then I hope you'll give it to somebody who can. If you are already registered, uh, rather than 
making me give your money back, which I don't want to do, give it to somebody else. Uh, because there are, there are people out there. We actually have a scholarship program. We don't talk about it very much, but we have a scholarship program where we allow people to, uh, to come where somebody else is paid. And if you're interested in that, just drop me an email, Eric at Plein Air Magazine. Um, Alex, that just made all the difference in the world. Yeah, you just, uh, I'm, uh, th this is what I love, you know, the first sort of washes of, of a watercolor, it, it's very out of focus, but the more you develop it, the more shadows you add in, I'm just going to add in some, some shadows at the bottom here as well. Oh, so beautiful. Just kind of uh, vignette this image a little bit. Um. And also what I need to do is get, there's some, there's some shadow in on this awning itself. So I want to get a kind of a darker, let's see, I can get a darker red, come around here. That's looking beautiful, Alex. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of I love I love when these when these things come together. So, how did you get to be so good? <laughs> years of practice. Uh, years of practice. I uh, I come from a background in film illustration, so I've had sort of years of. Um, sort of practice in composition and, and value studies and all kinds of things. So can you explain what film illustration is to those who might not yeah, know? Yeah, I, um, I do storyboards uh, for feature films. So this is kind of um, before anything is, is filmed, oftentimes a director will, will want to see kind of a rough illustration of almost a comic book version of... Um, of how a scene is going to come together. So will they take you out to action to where, where they know the scenes are going to be shot and then you, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go on location scout so I can get a feel for, for where things are going to take place. Um, I'm often there as they're filming things. So yeah, I kind of, I love it. And you say I am, so you're still doing some of that. I still do some of it. I do yeah. commercials mainly. Um, Fun. Yeah, since uh, since I've been here in Paris, it's it's harder to it's harder to run back and and do films because you really yeah. need to be in LA for that. Um, well, and, and I, uh, you, I I don't know if you want to share what your wife does. I I don't want to violate your privacy, but if you do, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, well, we came for her job. She's a film editor for animated films. Um, and she works for the company here in Paris that makes the Minions movies. Uh, so uh, I've seen every one. And the last one, by the way, was the best one ever. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're hilarious. It's, it's pretty fun. So she, um, during COVID, they, you know, everyone started working remotely. So she's got a studio set up in our apartment. And so uh, I just hear these minion voices coming from the spare bedroom <laughs> all day long. <laughs> we have a lot of uh, film people who watch this program, who buy our videos. We've had people from, um, from Pixar, from DreamWorks, from uh, Disney, uh, you know, just a lot of a lot of people who, you know, uh, pa painters of any kind are always trying to improve themselves. They're trying to learn more about light and color and and so on. So we have, you know, uh, we have uh, some things done by people who have actually worked at the studios, but we also have things that people at the studios uh, buy at Paint Tube TV, mm. and uh, and of course they're all available worldwide. They're on. 
uh, on Roku, they're on uh, Apple TV, they're everywhere. And you can have them on your phone or your app or anywhere else. So it's, um, it's kind of fun when you see people who work for these organizations that we all kind of idolize and realize that they're, they're buying our stuff, which is good. <laughs> yeah. And I love how much overlap there is, you know, there's some incredible talent uh, behind the scenes that, that most people aren't aware of. That's right. Uh, and the artistry is just world-class. Um, the ones that get all the credit are the ones that are on camera or on voice. Well, sure. That's who, that's who is the most visible. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive to see, to see how much work goes into these projects and, um, and what's involved in it all. I'm just adding a few figures here. I think we need a big banner on the building that says 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to, I'll, I'll put some, I said I was going to put some kind of Christmassy garlands on the, on the face of this. I feel like this needs some sort of. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a wreath on the corner of the building over that window or something. Yeah. This is all pretty wet, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll do. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a big wreath up here. Yeah. Or over. Or, yeah. There you go. That's good. See, I, I kind of like a director myself, just directing. A, I know a, you just, uh, you tell me, uh, <laughs> Tell me what, what this needs. We need Santa Claus jumping out of the window. Right. We've got all these chimneys up top. We, we, can, <laughs> we can do something. <laughs> well, I would love nothing more than to come and, and uh, do some plein air painting with you in Paris. I, um, so I, I was over there. We flew over. And my wife is the person who likes to go to bed as soon as we get in because she's jet lagged out. And I'm the guy who says, I'm going to stay up no matter what, no matter how tired I am. And so she went to bed. I went out plein air painting and I set up on the corner. I don't know the streets, but on the corner by the bridge by Notre Dame and I'm painting Notre Dame cathedral. And there are these teenagers smoking cigarettes right there. And they're laughing a lot and <clears throat> realized they were laughing at me. <laughs> and, and so finally, this one kid, I can remember his face, a uh, really good looking kid with long hair. He came up to me and he said, sir, uh, uh, your painting is awful. You should give up painting. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I made the mistake. I, I said, well, you know, come back in two hours and see what you think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's so rude. I apologize on behalf of the French. Nah, <laughs> they're teenagers. They're having fun. Right. What are they going to do? Yeah. yeah. I've had a few experiences where I'm out painting and, and, you know, people, people are always curious. They always look over your shoulder and that's, that's kind of fun and rewarding. Occasionally someone will say something that's just really cutting and you're like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> what is, what's wrong? <laughs> Oh, well, it's interesting. You know, when you put those windows in, they really look dark and now you had to restate them. Yeah, things, things really fade. Um, One thing nice, though, is you've got, you've got this sense of aerial perspective. As that building goes back, it kind of disappears a little bit more. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I can add a few details back here, but I really want to do it kind of sparingly just to suggest that... Um, Suggest some details, but not get too out of control. And then it's, uh, you know, it's more about uh, all these little details on the face of this building. There's a lot of kind of stonework that's really interesting. Well, and the temptation would be to put a lot of detail in that shadow area, but that's going to draw the eye too. So yeah, the I could darken this up a little is, bit, but... Um, yeah. That's really lovely. Thank you.
I, I'm curious what everybody's doing for Christmas. If they're traveling, put something in the comments. Tell us what you're up to. I'm thinking about maybe taking a trip with the kids. I haven't come up with anything yet. If depend on if I can get an Airbnb. Maybe I could talk them into going to Paris. Well, it's awfully cold in Paris this time of year. Yeah, it's cold. It was cold last week. This week is sort of calming down a little bit. Yeah. Christmas in Paris would be nice. Yeah. I'm just reaching for a thinner brush. There's some actual fine details kind of on the stonework here. I like how you're really being brushy with that, how you're you know, being loose. Yeah, I think um, I used to draw very, very detailed, kind of tight, detailed work. Um, and it was a real conscious effort to loosen up my style. Because yeah. um, I, I sort of, I realized that the tighter I draw, the, it, it sort of takes the life away from my painting. Yeah. I get it. I, I am really working on loosening up. Uh, I, I've been uh, sending pictures of my work to CW and then saying, you know, what does it need? And because um, I, I really am trying to get away from that tightness. I just mm. always been really tight. I like tight paintings in some cases, but sometimes they lose their, their energy. I was out on a rock in Acadia National Park. I was uh, painting next to Elaine Miller, who's, who's watching now. And, um, and this kid and, and mother came up and started talking to us. And, and, uh, and I said to the kid, I said, do you want to work on my painting? And I asked the mother's permission. And she said, sure. And so I said, OK. I'm, I held his hand. He was probably about 13. And I said, now, do this with the, get the paint on your brush like this. And I showed him and I said, now let's do a brush stroke together. So I showed him and I said, now you do one. And he said, well, where do I put it? I said, put it wherever you want. You can't ruin my painting. And even if you do, it's okay. And so he, <laughs> he laid one down, then he laid another one down and he laid another one down. And then he left and, and his mom took him to another painter. We had our fall color week event going on. And you know, this kid lit up like a Christmas tree, but what, what I loved about it is the marks that he made were so wonderful and so abstract and innocent that I left them in. And then I tried to do more like that. And it turned out to be one of the best paintings I've ever done in my life. Oh, that's so, so fun. So yeah. it really pays to, you know, to be experimental. Yeah. You know, and, and exactly kind of invite in that, that innocence I think we need a little Christmas music. <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit of detail up here. There's this awning happening. I mean, a banister railing. Wow, people are talking about minus 61 wind chill where they are. Goodness wow. gracious, that big storm. I know it's supposed to get down to 19 here in Austin, which is highly unusual. That's crazy. I, I, I want to live in a place where I can wear shorts every day. And I do most, <laughs> most days here, but I may have to move to South America. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe to escape the law. <laughs> well, that's beautiful, Alex. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I'm sort of putting finishing touches on this. I could... I could darken some of this under the cafe, but maybe that's enough. Oh, it looks great. You don't need to do anything to it. Well, maybe I'll take the tape off. That's always a fun. That's always fun. That's always a... I found out, I, was, I took an Instagram course the other day, and one of the things they said is one of the most watched things is when people take tape off. <laughs> Well, that is beautiful, and what a wonderful Christmas present that will make. Yeah, there you go. I might keep tinkering and adding a few little touches here and there, but um, but yeah, this uh, this is kind of what I wanted to show. It feels a little Christmassy with the red and green. Um, 
but I, you know, I love this, the light, the, the reflected light up into these shadows. It just really brings a lot of kind of depth um, and interest. Uh, it might not be what you see with your eye, but, but, you know, we can, we can kind of embellish and exaggerate and uh, paint what we want to see. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Why don't you come back on camera? All right. All right. Okay. Well, I'm sitting here sneezing because I have this poinsettia plant next to me. <laughs> it's crazy. Alex, thank you so much for being on the Christmas Spectacular today. It has been really wonderful to have you here. You got us in the Christmas spirit. You got us inspired. Uh, tell us where we can follow you. Uh, thank you. You can you can follow me on my Instagram, which is my last name, Hillkurtz, H-I-L-L-K-U-R-T-Z. Uh, and I have a website, which is alexhillkurtzart.com. So thank you. This was this was super fun. Uh, it's well, always, thank you. It's always I, fun I hope to we show get a off, chance to uh, meet in Paris. person one day and and uh, and go painting together. If you ever get to Austin, you're you're welcome to stay in the world famous artist cabin. We probably should have you over to do a video. So maybe we'll talk about that. I'd love uh, that. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you to Alex. Everybody give a round of applause and hang in there. Don't leave yet because we're going to, we have one other way. We're going to give away a prize. And uh, Alex, thank you again. Uh, Alex Hillkurtz is going to be on Watercolor Live, which is coming up in, in the third week of January, the 26th through the 28th and Beginner's Day on the 25th. And we have world-class artists teaching. This is a massive event. It's the largest art conference in the world. I'm going to repeat that. It's the largest art conference in the world. We have people from attending from 20, 30, 40 countries. It's massive. So uh, if you're a beginner, if you're experienced, you're going to get something out of it. So I hope you'll come to that. Okay, now we have to figure out what we're going to give away for the comments because I ask everybody to put in 100,000 because we want to give you a chance as well. And we will announce on the next program what that prize is going to be and let's see i'm looking around i'm thinking should i give away i don't know let's see here should i give away my nelson shanks painting my eighty thousand dollar nelson shanks painting no not gonna do it so what should i give away let's see let's see uh well, I'll tell you what, we'll give away one more seat. We will give away a, a VIP ticket to the Plein Air Convention. A VIP ticket gets you front row seating. Uh, you get to part, you get to have access to our special VIP lounge. We have special VIP events going on. Now, this is not our super VIP, which is sold out which has art museum or has some visits to some art studios to meet the artists and special dinners and stuff like that. But this is VIP. It's, it's worth a lot more money than a regular ticket. And uh, if you already have a ticket, then I'll upgrade you to VIP. Or if you want to give this away to somebody else, if you can't make it, I hope you can make it to the plein air convention. So the VIP ticket, uh, the way to win is to put any comment. I prefer you say, hi, I'm from Lithuania or something. You can, anywhere in the world, you can come. You got to pay your own airfare. You got to pay your own hotel, but it's a VIP ticket to the plein air convention. And, and uh, maybe right after Christmas, I think right around the ninth, we're going to get to announce who our celebrity uh, guest is. And our celebrity guest is world famous, it's not anybody you would ever anticipate would be at the plein air convention. It's somebody who is um, uh, in movies and television and like big time famous. Okay. And that person is going to be at the plein air convention. And if you have a VIP seat to the plein air convention, we will guarantee that you will get your photo with that person, which is very rare. 
And so uh, we're not allowed to announce it yet. We, we were waiting to make sure it was confirmed. Now it's like 99.9% confirmed. The only thing that could happen is if there's a last minute movie gig or something that, you know, an appearance that has to happen, but we don't think so. Kind of hard to schedule people like this. And so we're going to give away a VIP ticket for a comment, for a comment. So that means you got to have a comment in the comment section. We'll pick one. We'll announce it on the next program, uh, which is after Christmas. And I'm going to take some time off. But let's go one more time, Amadine. Let's show everybody the prizes that we're going to do and how to do it. So first off, in addition, uh, we're going to tell you how to do this in case you're watching. You didn't hear it at the beginning. Keep that up there. Uh, okay, you go to artschool.live, not artschoollive.com. We don't have that. Go to artschool.live and put in your email address. And even if you're watching on replays, uh, do it before the 22nd. That's tomorrow at noon Eastern, okay? That way the people on the replays get a chance too. And uh, if you put your email in there only once, we're going to give away the following prizes. Uh, we're going to give away a ticket to the Plein Air Convention. We're going to give away a ticket to Watercolor Live, a ticket to Plein Air Live, a ticket to Pastel. Wow, Amadine is on it. She's like got these new graphics. The ticket to Pastel Live and a ticket to Realism Live. Now, these are our online conferences. They're the biggest art conferences in the world. Worldwide audiences, the best teachers in the world. Four days that transform you. Uh, and the one coming up next is... is uh, is uh, Watercolor Live. So uh, let me go through those again because I go back. So go back to the plein air conventions. We're going to have the plein air convention. You're going to have a chance to win that ticket. You're going to have a chance to win Watercolor Live, a chance to win plein air live, a chance to win pastel live, a chance to do realism live in November. And we're going to give away 10 subscriptions to plein air magazine and 10 subscriptions to fine art connoisseur. Then we're going to give away 15 videos. We're going to give away these five videos. We're going to give away the next five videos and we're going to give away the next five videos and you'll be able to watch them digitally from your computer, from your iPad. You can watch them on Roku, on, on Apple TV, etc. because we do it all. And these are our art instruction courses that we do from painttube.tv, which are professionally produced, high quality, extreme close-ups. And so the way to win, I'm going to reiterate one more time, the way to win is go to artschool.live, not .com, artschool.live. Do that now when the show ends, if you haven't done it, and uh, you will uh, get an email on Friday. So make sure that you're watching for the email and make sure it doesn't go in your spam folder and you'll get an email on Friday from us about what's happening. Okay? Now, uh, the music has come on. You know what that means. It's time to end our Christmas spectacular. I have my uh, my fabulous Santa Claus shirt, and I am so happy to be here with you. Got the decorations going on the neon back there, and uh, we are just so thrilled that you would tune in today. We had about three times the audience we normally have on our live, so thank you for that today. Thank you for putting comments in, and a special thanks. Um, you know, it's it's unbelievable to me that we would hit that goal of 100,000 on the YouTube subscribers. Yay! Wow, great job, Amadine. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, now we have to hit the next goal, which is uh, 200,000. So I don't know what the timing on that will be yet, but if you're not a subscriber, it's a great way to do it. And of course, YouTube will reward us with all kinds of celebratory plaques and things like that. So very, very cool. Thanks for making that happen. Thank you. We've been here on this program for three years, almost three years since COVID began. First seven months, seven days a week, then five days a week since then, live most of the time, not all the time. And I want to thank uh, all of you. You helped me get through the pandemic. And I know that my goal was to distract you and, and keep you upbeat and, and, and teach you art. I think the thing that's been really remarkable we have heard from hundreds of thousands of people who have said, I never had the confidence to do art, but I started watching Art School Live and I started learning and I've taken it up. I've had thousands of people say, 
you know, I went to college. Uh, I was an artist. I wanted to do art. My parents wouldn't let me, but uh, I always wanted to come back to it. Then I, you know, life got in the way. Now, because of this, I'm back to it. We've had people who have taken their work to the next level. And it's just so much fun. We think that we've reached over a million people and taught them to paint. And we think that's fabulous. And 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 if you look at the numbers and the different people who have watched over the years, uh, over the three years and the 80 or 90 countries, it is just so remarkable that you guys have been there for us. We want to be there for you. We're going to continue this. It's a tremendous amount of effort to do this every single day. And but we love doing it. And and we love the fact that you're part of our family. And a special thanks to uh, Nancy uh, Atherton West and uh, her team. I don't want to name all the people because I'm sure I'm going to forget somebody. But the Dreamline artists, there's a team of about 12 or 15, 20 people that have to just to manage all the comments and everything that's going on at, you know, probably a few thousand members now. I think last I heard was close to 3,000, 3,500. And anybody can join that. I am not, I have nothing to do with it. Uh, it's a separate thing. It's not part of Streamline. It's not part of Plein Air Magazine. But you can join that and become part of that community. And we would, we think that's a really good thing to do because when you're an artist, you need a family that understands. When you're talking about cadmium yellow and your family is sitting around going, what is she talking about? Uh, you have friends who understand, right? And when you're talking about a brush technique or watercolor or pastel or, or oil or gouache or anything acrylic, uh, it's something that we need to be able to relate to. And that's why we want to be one big family. And so the community aspect is so important. And, and what we try to do on these events, uh, what we try to do on Watercolor Live is we have a big community factor. We have, uh, we call them breakouts. We get you into groups with eight different people twice a day, every time it's a different group. And we have people who meet, who become friends, who go painting together because they find out they live close by. And there's just such a richness when you get yourself involved in community. And if you're setting your goals for 2023, and that's a whole nother broadcast goal setting, but if you're setting your goals, Think in terms of richness of life. I learned a really important lesson. I had a near-death experience. I've never told many people about it, but it was a near-death experience. Uh, I was briefly paralyzed. It was scary. Uh, I got pulled out of that by prayer. And when I woke up and I, and I became conscious again, I, I thought about what do I want my life to look like for the rest of my life? That, that, that happened when my kids were about three. They're 20 now. And so I designed what I wanted my life to look like, my ideal life, and I also designed what I did not want to suffer with in my life, what I didn't want to do, the things, the people I didn't want to deal with. And so when you're setting your goals, design your life. Design what your ideal is. And I think one of the richest experiences that I've had in my life is getting to know you guys and developing that sense of community where we're all there together. We're, we're, we're hanging out together. We, you know, the Dreamliners hang out together at the Plein Air Convention. They're hanging out together at, at, at the various online events. And we are all part of a bigger family and we need that support because our families don't understand what we, we do. You know, we're a rare bunch. We're artists, right? And so this is a fabulous, fabulous thing to be thinking about. How can you get involved in your local arts community? How can you make friends? How can you find people to go painting together? We're going to work on more of that so we can do that. But, but this is about richness of life. See, the world has it wrong. This is richness is never about money. I know a lot of very, very wealthy people, and I know a lot of very poor people. And the people who are the happiest do something different. And it has nothing to do with money. Yeah, it's nice to have money. I'm, I'm not disputing that. But I know people who are very wealthy, who are miserable. They're traveling all the time. They're going to meetings. They're not happy. I have a, a dear friend who's got a jet and he's, you know, he's just constantly going around. He's just never able to be with his family. 
I don't know if he's happy or not, but I, you know, I don't want that life. I want a rich life with good friends like you, people who, who bring meaning, people who you have things in common with. I, I feel like I have the richest life because of people like you. So sorry about the speech. I know we're running long, but thank you so much for making that happen. We have uh, the intent to keep Art School Live going. We will be here at 12 noon every day. Uh, we're going to be in replays during Christmas season so I can take some time off and be with my family. But then I'm coming back to be with my other family, and that's you. And we will be back here after the first of the year. And maybe maybe uh, Amadine and I will cook up something special if we can come up with something. But uh, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Uh, have a very happy Hanukkah. Uh, just look for ways to bring joy to your life and riches to your life. And give yourself a right? You know, you deserve the best. And I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you. God bless you. And thanks for watching Art School Live.